Exactly, exactly. Oh, so, how is everybody today? It's so great uh, to have you here. It's great to be with you. How's everybody holding up? And <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hey, we all have smiles still on our faces. That's all that, that's all that counts, right? We might yeah. be going stir crazy, but we're we're still holding tight. Still doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um I am Hillary Buholz, uh, and here as always with the lovely and talented Patty Quinn. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we are the co-founders of We Heart Hounds, and we are just popping in every Monday through Thursday this week with some kind of fun kid crafts. Um, we know that people are, their lifestyle is a little bit different right now during this time, and we just wanted to do something that's a little bit fun and lighthearted and hopefully a bit of a distraction that's fun for the whole family. So we've yeah. come up with a few kid crafts uh, throughout this week. Um, and what we normally call Thank Dog It's Friday or TDIF. That is always a craft that we do on Fridays. Mm -hmm. Monday through Thursday, we're just doing some kid inspired ones. And today we have some <laughs> clothespin canine crafts. So those are mean, so cute. Those little eyes are so tiny. They're so cute. <laughs> I love them. Oh, you got a Leon and a Lulu. That's so yep. sweet. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> so these are very simple, um, easy to put together. This one happens, I'll start with this one, I guess. This one happens to be a refrigerator magnet, so you can hang your kids' artwork on the refrigerator. Oh, I love that. It's just got little sticky magnets here. Oh. Um, there, it's a whole... Okay. Strip of them, and you can just cut them to whatever size you need. Um, they're not the strongest magnets in the world, but if you had other refrigerator magnets that you wanted to repurpose the magnets on, you could do that as well. So, first thing you're going to do is it just takes one clothespin. So, one clothespin, I happen to paint mine, but you could marker it or whatever you happen to have lying around. So, um, just a solid color, or if you wanted to do spots, sky's the limit on how you want to do it <laughs> <laughs> really all you're doing is creating a little dog face I, it's a heart shape for its face okay. and then another heart shape for the ears and then you just cut them in half and kind of trim them up a little bit that around them out yeah yep. so two hearts is all all you have to cut out for that and then i just used a little scrap for his uh tail Okay. Are you using construction paper or felt for the? So the this paper? is felt, but you could use okay. um, that kind of foam, sure. crafty paper too, or mm -hmm. you could use construction paper, whatever you have. So any, okay. any any one of those things will work. Felt or the foam stuff will probably hold up a little better since you are kind of right. trying to use the thing. So right. So I That's true. might recommend those, but honestly, if you don't have them. Yeah. Construction paper would work too. Regular okay. paper or or uh, cardstock or something that you color. The kids could color themselves if you don't yeah. have colored construction paper. So, okay. And then I just have some little tiny googly eyes that are sticky. <laughs> They're back. the smallest googly eyes ever. <laughs> They're so cute. So those. <laughs> little googly eyes and then i had um some pom-poms that were bigger than what i okay. needed so i just trimmed that down so oh you heck can... yeah you did <laughs> <laughs> that's probably like the longest part of that craft is getting that pom-pom <laughs> down to the appropriate size yeah, you so... are dedicated let me tell you you are dedicated we i tell you everybody we we put our heart and soul into these crafts for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and you could use like a bead or whatever you have too. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You know, that would work yeah. as well. So super simple on this I one. I love this. I could totally see a refrigerator with a whole pack of pups, like all <laughs> over yeah. it, different kinds, you know, or you could make one for every kind of pup you have in the house, yeah. you know, and then just yeah. hang all kinds of your kids' artwork or you know, all that good stuff on there. That would be so sweet. Photographs yeah. or any postcards that come in. Yeah, that yeah. would be so sweet. And super easy for whole range, like uh, craft yeah. glue. I used hot glue, but you can certainly use craft glue for this one. So you okay. don't have to have any heat involved in that one. This one is really, really easy and fun. Yeah. And I think it turns out really cute. So. <laughs> 
This one is a little tiny bit more involved just because there's more pieces and parts. Um, so you got four clothespins. I painted these ones white and then just markered on some little spots for that. I and love then it. I have <laughs> some little felt feet. And you do yeah. kind of need these. It helps it to be able to stand because it's not the most okay. stable. Okay. Not the most stable little up in the world, but right, so the little right. felt feet, you just glue on the bottom there. Okay. And then again, I have some googly eyes. Let's see if you can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just, and even if you didn't have any googly eyes or whatever, you could draw some eyes on, or yeah. the coil of the clothespin kind of looks like an eye already. So right. if, if you don't have anything, it would work without, without the sure. googly eyes. Sure, sure. And then just a little piece of felt for the ears. Okay. Glue on the top there. And then again, I used pom pom, but you could use bead <laughs> and okay. trimmed it down to the size I needed for that guy. I love that. So that this one, one, you yeah, you go can ahead. you could put make it like a pencil holder or whatever, <laughs> so you can still yeah. use it and stick a pencil through through its little mouth there. <laughs> Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. That one, I just, you can't help but laugh or smile when you see that. Yeah. That is so precious. Oh my gosh. I just love that. These and are so great. The, again, you can make these any colors and, you know, let, let your imagination run wild. There's no reason that they have to be traditional dog colors. You could make them yeah. pink and purple and blue or whatever you wanted. Right, so it's right, just kind exactly. of a fun shape and fun to put together. It's a little bit like Tinker Toys when you're kind of constructing them together. So yeah. So do they are they glued together or are they just clipped together? They're just clipped together. So really that's here's, easy. Here's the end piece right, here. Right. Here's the end piece on this one. The end piece on this one and then this one is just oh, holding it easy. together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That is so Now you could glue them one. together if you wanted to try to give right. it a little extra security, but yeah. Oh gosh, no. Yeah. Just have them um, yeah, that makes it really fast. I keep thinking of both of these and in particular, I like the one with the multiple pieces for this idea, but for like a kid's birthday party or something, if you wanted mm -hmm. to have everybody make their make own little craft. dog kind of a, as a party favor they could make their own little party favor that would be so fun to, you know to yep. put them all together and decorate i just love that idea i think these are great <laughs> these are so fun oh that's are great i love that thank you so much for sharing yeah oh, no God. problem and if these you guys end up making some please share your pictures <laughs> yeah. with us we would love to see it we would love to see yeah. this one with a little bit of artwork connected oh, to it that would be adorable that would be, that would be so fun yeah and, and and any of these so you know we're the last last week and this week we've been coming every every monday through thursday um just to pop in with a quick kid-friendly canine craft idea um so go back through the videos if you haven't you know our playlist if you haven't um already uh, or we haven't seen one that you know kind of inspires you and your kiddos to, yeah. to do something fun and we'll probably do this again for a little a little while longer please let us know if you like these ideas um you know if you like uh us coming on and sharing this uh with everybody we you know we would love to continue if this is something you find helpful and and fun and valuable um and um of course we always do our think dog it's friday um and we'll always be doing that for who knows forever and yep. ever um, that would be absolutely love as well so um and that's geared a little bit more towards the the grown-up group um although kids can do a lot of those kids can do a lot of them yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah as well well gosh thank you so much hillary this one was this one definitely like brightened my day i just you know <laughs> so fun i love it and i could just imagine all the possibilities um, yeah of what what can, what the kiddos can create um so yeah and it's just really so quick so easy it takes just mm -hmm. a few little supplies um and if you have the right size pom-poms to begin with <laughs> it'll be a lot easier <laughs> you don't have to whittle them down uh which is good and if not you whittle them down like hillary yep. did and you're good to go um and you can even use a black marker or what you know you just exactly like, whatever you have at home Use what you've got and it um, work for sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. So anyway, well, thank you everybody for being with us today. Um, one last quick little reminder that we do each time. Um, not only are we coming 
here live um, to bring you some fun ideas to have some family fun time and bonding time together um, while we're all kind of home and looking for stuff to do. Uh, but we're also encouraging you to go to your local Humane Society, call them up, see if they could use a little bit of help and support right now, because obviously taking care of pups and kitties and bunny rabbits and everything else that they have is, is a full-time job. It's a, uh, you know, all day, all night, every day. And um, with doors closed or adoption slowing down or funds slowing down, um, they could certainly use the help. And if you're looking for a way to help, um, we are offering 10% off everything in our store. There's a link to this post. So feel free to go to the store, buy a shirt, buy a mug. I mean, you don't have to spend a lot uh, or, my gosh, we would love if you bought Christmas gifts, you know, whatever mm -hmm. you like. Um, and we'll be donating um, all proceeds from the uh, month of March, 2020 um, to a local Humane Society of Hamilton County that's close to me. And um, just to help do what we can. Um, and we just encourage you to do the same. So. Yeah. Thanks everybody for being here with Thanks. us. And tomorrow we're gonna have a fun one. I'm sorry, Hillary, yeah. didn't mean to interrupt. I'm just oh, excited. No. <laughs> uh, tomorrow's gonna be a fun one as well. That'll be at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time, our normal uh, Think Doc is Friday time. So look forward to seeing you on that one. Yeah. And it, like like we said, uh, share these around. If you know somebody that you think yeah. could be inspired or would enjoy these, please yeah. let them know. Um, we just want to share the love around here and hopefully be kind of a fun, silly distraction. These are fun and <laughs> silly distractions. <laughs> <laughs> and if our crafts aren't fun and silly distractions, I hope we are fun and silly yeah. <laughs> So thanks everybody. It's been such a pleasure. We truly love spending time with you. Um, we appreciate each and every one of you and know that, you know, this isn't a good time for everybody and trying to make it the best out of it. And I think, you know, I think we can. There, there'll be some good um, silver linings out there that we can um, hold on to and, and, um, and enjoy. So yeah. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. It's been fun seeing you today. Take care. Bye. -bye.